All right. Well, welcome, welcome everyone to Virtual Coffee Break with Tanisha. Happy Tuesday. Uh, today is 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 a day I don't necessarily celebrate. I ain't into witches and goblins and mm -mm, it goes against everything I believe in. However, we're going to talk about Halloween today. Because today, hi Erica, today is a great day to market your business. It's a networking day. At, at what point do you have people knocking on your door? <laughs> They don't do that at Christmas, right? They don't do that for New Year's. But on Halloween, they come knocking at your door, kids and parents and stuff like that. So I want everyone to take advantage of this opportunity. It's not about um, celebrating Halloween, it's about doing business. And if you look at every major corporation, Right. When these holidays come around, they look at that as an opportunity to make money to market their products and services. And so shouldn't we be doing the same thing? So if you weren't planning to do anything for Halloween, you're like, nope, lights are going to be off because I don't even want them little gremlins ringing my doorbell. What I need you to do is go to the store because guess what? The candy's 50% off today. Today's the day to buy it, right? Um, get you some candy and then, you know, put it in a nice little bucket bin, whatever you're going to do, uh, and have your business cards ready. So I plan on marketing both of my businesses tonight um, because I'm not going to have a lot of time to talk to parents about what I do, I will be utilizing my peak interest business cards. It's gonna say everything I'd like to say, but won't have the time to say. And I will also be giving them my um, Intel travel card for my travel services. And I did the same thing last year. Um, you know, we had our, our garage door open, so we were propped up in our garage turned game room, had lights and music going and had the candy out. So the kids and the parents had to walk up to our driveway to get the candy. And as the kids were working, walking up the driveway to get their candy, I was walking down the driveway to the parents and giving them my business cards with an S. So I gave out my IntelliTravel cards and I gave out my peak interest cards. And I had, because I created a group on Facebook um, called the Ladies of Providence for my community, a lot of people were like, oh, you're the one who created the group. So it just sparked conversation and like, oh, you book travel? Oh, that, right. And a lot of people were also saying, dang, you so smart. I should have had my business cards for my business. Right. So I'm like, absolutely. You know, and if they do have a business card, you know, I go get it. But so again, it's not about celebrating the holiday per se. I don't even want to call it that. But it's not about celebrating Halloween. Like I said, I do not celebrate Halloween. I don't, I'm not into that kind of stuff, but I do see it as an opportunity to share my business, to share my services as a travel advisor. Um, so what do you all think about that? Who plans to do something similar tonight? Delta, mm -hmm. you trying to come off mute? Yes, uh, and I, I, I'm going to master that <laughs> one day. But yes, uh, my my daughter. Well, I know last year we found I found out about this this 
entire neighborhood within a, a different suburb where it's called Tillman Street and everybody in that community, every block is decorated and things like that. So she was saying she wanted to do that this year. So she asked me this one. She's like, well, mom, are you going? Oh, nah, nah, home. you know, it's for the kids or whatever. And I was like, uh-uh, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> no, I'm going to go. And now that I hear you say you do the both uh, cards, um, the trout, uh, your uh, IntelliTravel card and your P card. So that's what, what because I had planned on just probably doing the P cards, but yeah, I will be going. <laughs> I'll get a little candy too and I'll walk because my, my great granddaughter is definitely going. So I'm hold her hand, walk up, you know, get candy. Oh, by the way, here, you know, something for you as well. So yes, I'm going to um, maximize the time and, and hand out cards as well. Definitely that. Absolutely. Shamika? Um, I got invited to a Halloween party. Um, so I'm gonna bring some Rotel and my Beastman scarves. <laughs> I wasn't gonna go because I'm not the Halloween person. I was thinking maybe I'll go as like Angela Davis or something because it is like a little costume uh contest, but that's how I plan to um market get my business out there and network today as well. Excellent, excellent. Yes, anybody else? How are you going to leverage Halloween to grow your business? This is an opportunity. Okay, I'm trying to get it together over here to show y'all what I'm doing. Did you say try? We don't try. I am getting it together over here to show y'all what I've been working on all morning because I wasn't prepared the way I was usually am because I do this every year too. But coming back from the, uh, the anniversary, I just, I'm like, I didn't buy any candy. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's just going crazy. So this is what I put together so far. I'm going to be working on it. I'm trying to unblur my background. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, let me see. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so I got these little things. Of course, I got the candy for the kitties. I did go get some Snickers. Uh -huh. And for their mom and dad, I have my little thing here, my little... Um, so let me take it out what it says it's a card it's a stick on a stick of gum uh -huh. and a two-sided tape to put on the business card uh -huh. and i have my p card on here uh -huh. and it says happy halloween mom or dad flip business card over and i just have it on the case where they could flip it over uh -huh. and see there and then when they flip it over they read chew on this life-changing information <laughs> i love it i love that and then on the back, I have my podcast information so they can, it says, flip to scan for positive fun info for celebrate every day with amazing K. So. Bravo, I didn't say anything Karen. about travel because, you know, travel is not my forte. I'm looking for business partners, but if they want to become travel, I will support them too. Absolutely. <laughs> don't leave any money on the table. I don't leave no money on the table. Yes. Yeah, right. Karen, I love, love, love what you did. You, you know, you it went a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? I believe it, it's going to reap a harvest for you. And I, you know? and I just got an idea what you said about, you know, I usually have people, I have a driveway too. I don't have a garage, but they have to come up the driveway to get to my house. So I think I'm going to sit out right there at, at the end, of, not the end of the driveway, but you know, where they come up. Mm -hmm. So as they come up and I'll have the little spooky music going and everything like that, because me and the guy across the street, we have a little contest going. I don't celebrate Halloween either, but he's just be making me mad because he put all that stuff out there. And I'm like, look, I'm the pre-K teacher. People expect me to do something. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> right. So I just decorate like my picture window and stuff and have the light shining out from it and play spooky music. So Good. they'll come up there and then I'll walk down. Some of the parents do walk them up. Well, they walk them up to the door, mm -hmm. but if they see me out there, they probably just send them. But I'm right. gonna I'm gonna be ready with my little ziplock bag. Now, how many of those did you make? Well, I just I'm just gonna do 40 because we don't get that big of a uh okay. thing here. If I get 20, I'll be happy, but I just didn't want to run out. So right, right. Most of the people I on here that. do trunk or treat. Yeah. Yeah, at the store, they don't really come out as in droves the way they used to, but a few do come out. Right, right. All right, that's good. I love it. I love it. I love it. And make make sure you um you know share that with your team members what you're doing. You may inspire someone to to do something. Okay. You know, I know I'm gonna definitely. Well, I've already we we're streaming live in our team Lux Platinum, so the team I've already shared what I'm doing. Right. 
So everybody's going to hear it. But what are you all? Thank you for sharing, Karen. Uh, today we're talking about what are you doing tonight for Halloween for your business? Never miss an opportunity. Here's one opportunity where people are going to be knocking at your door. What? You got people coming to your house knocking? What are you going to, how are you going to leverage Halloween to grow your business? Anybody? Nobody else? Y'all just going to let the opportunity go by? Really? And then you're wondering why you ain't hitting your next level. I'm just saying. Yeah, I wanted to uh, say, and, and just utilizing because this is Halloween, you know, you, you take that opportunity. But as I'm thinking and as I, I, as you're talking, taking the chance and utilizing an opportunity when it arises, that's on anything, you know, as far as when you have an opportunity to utilize, um, you know, uh, and, I, you know, something that comes up, you know, to, to, to jump on it and then have a chance to perfect example when we were in, Atlanta, we went to and one of, we went to a Chick Fil A, mm -hmm. and we were eating and everything. And it was a young lady, just very dutiful. She was around the restaurant. She was sweeping and doing her doing her cleaning and everything. Very mannerable, very poised in the whole thing. And so I was kind of picking with her. I said, "Excuse me." I said, um, "You know, talk." I think I asked her, her name or whatever, and I said, "Excuse me." Um, is the manager? And I guess she looked concerned. She was like, "Well, why do you need the manager?" So, and she was like, yeah. I said, well, could you have them to, uh, if they're here, could you have them to come over or whatever? And as I was saying that, Connie, she decided to go over before I could get the manager. But what I was telling her, I said, you need to let your, let your manager know that you are an excellent worker. You need, you, awesome. you need a raise. You need a raise because <laughs> you, are, you are out here doing your job. And then I proceeded to go right into, you know, uh, additional streams of income. She was interested. I gave, you know, was talking to her, gave her my 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 P card and did the whole thing, got her information. When the manager came over, same thing. I said, Well, you tell your manager, well, he's not here. You tell I said, Well, you tell him you need you need a raise as well. Got her information. And I'm just saying all this to say by you saying utilizing, you know, because it's Halloween to do that at any chance, at any chance you have an opportunity, take that opportunity to, you know, you know, peek and expose somebody to what it is that we do. So Absolutely. that's what I mean, was on that. Absolutely. Uh, just like they say, never let a, a crisis go by, right? Leverage the, right? All, they say all, all marketing is good, right? There's always an opportunity. Anytime something bad happens, there's an opportunity to turn it into something positive right to 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 communicate whatever it is you're trying to communicate i'm going to show you two quick videos um that for halloween 2022 that uh we did at our house and, and i'm hoping that this will inspire you all to do something today to move your business forward like i said i do not support celebrate Halloween. That's that's not my thing. It, it goes against all my Christian values and stuff. However, I'm a businesswoman. Right? I'm a businesswoman. Don't all of these corporations take advantage of these holidays? Running specials and sales and stuff? We have to operate as a business. Right? So, again, I know some of you are like, oh, I don't do the Halloween thing. I don't even have any kids or whatever. It's not about that, to be honest with you. It's about the opportunity for you to expose more people to your business, both sides of your business. So I'm gonna um, play these two quick videos uh, to show you Halloween 2022 at my house. We are ready for the trick-or-treaters. I got Skylar here. She is guarding the property to make sure nobody comes too early and nobody takes too many pieces of candy. Good job, Skylar. You are on the job. Are you sitting down? You can sit. You can sit. Hey, sit. High five. Good job. All right. She is on the job. We have Mr. Burke there. He getting ready to play some pool. 
got a little seating area. We got our scrolling marquee going. We got the LED lights. Oh, look. Oh, I love that movie. We got two movies going in case you can't make up your mind. And then what games we got there? We got... Uh, Minecraft. Which, and of course, Donkey Kong. But what are the two systems? Oh, uh, Minecraft on the PS4 and Donkey Kong on the on the regular Nintendo. There Those we go. There we go. Mr. Burke, you did a great job setting up the video I games. Thought, yeah. Right. So we got some comfortable seating there if any of the trick-or-treaters want to come and play a quick game. And then we have foosball. And look at all of this candy. But see, I'm a businesswoman, so the kids, they can come and get the candy, but guess what the parents are going to get? Boom. My business cards. Yes, yes, this is a networking opportunity for me. <laughs> right? So the three of us. Skyler, Mr. Bird, yes. and myself, we're going to enjoy tonight. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that was one video. Um, and then I could show you another video of what it looked like that night. If I can... Uh, let's see if I can find it. off acting like you ain't home so people don't knock on your door don't do that <laughs> anybody want to um share some comments feedback ideas what, what, what how are you going to leverage tonight to grow your business so you can hit your next promotion so that you can get closer to to securing that legacy so that you can get more travel clients so that you can get potentially more business partners what are you doing anybody else well, I can I give it let you know what was the result of my last year's uh, Halloween thing. Sure. So, like I said, it's a lot of work, but last year, you know, um, I had more time. I was more prepared. I didn't do try to do everything on the last minute at this day, I, but I did get I didn't get a business partner. But what I one of my neighbors, she knows now what I do. do. She came over to see you know, what it was and everything after the, the, the Halloween uh, thing. And she is one of my best supporters. She sends people to me. Hmm, She's referral nice. because I have the referral program I have going on where I tell people they give me five referrals where people come and at least look at the presentation. You know, then I give them one of our free trips from the back office. So she's working on like her second free trip because she just, you know, and, and it wasn't a business partner, but she's given me people that have been business partners too. So I love it. I love it. I it's love worth it. it, guys. Don't yeah, she's not just spitting uh information, it works. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, some people are gonna just be a bridge to other people, and you know, they see you work in your business and you know they want to support businesses. I know my neighborhood is really, really big on uh and we're that's kind of what i've 
kind of promoted in the group that I created for my neighborhood. I promoted, let's support each other. If you have a business, share what it is. If you need anything, ask in this group first, because there's chances are there's someone who does something that you're looking for, or they could give you a referral. We don't just want to blindly just go to a business, right? Or a doctor or whatever. Isn't it better to get a referral, someone that has utilized the services, experienced it, you know, can tell you about their experience. And so even with just that, like in my my Ladies of Providence group, it is so big on, uh, we're, we're creating like a really good community. And that's why I always tell you all to, if there's not a group for your where you live, you create the group. You create that community neighborhood group um, so that, you know, you can leverage it for yourself and it, it really helps with the community. So isn't that a positive thing as well? So I'm going to, um, I'm going to share my screen again in a minute just to show you. And, and here's the cool thing. I don't even have to post in this group every day because the rest of the ladies from my neighborhood are so active and posting in it that I don't, it's not like it's extra work for me per se, because they're all leveraging the group themselves. Um, so let me, first I want to pull it up. I'm going to share my screen. So this is my Ladies of Providence group. That's our neighborhood, ladies only, right? I have a questionnaire in there that you got to answer some questions so I can make sure you live <laughs> in the neighborhood, right? Here's someone asking, does our neighborhood do trick or treat? If so, what neighbors and what time? Thank you. And there's already, you know, three people. Preston, right? A lot of people going to Preston. I'm going to say Camden Park Circle. Oops, what happened? Camden Park Circle. Because I want them to come to our neighborhood. This lady here, she's searching for a doctor, right? We have a craft fair in our neighborhood, so we posted about that. So people are talking about that. Uh, this person is doing Thanksgiving meals right so she's oh she got coquito yes for the coquito if y'all don't know about coquito look it up look it up yes i'll be hitting her up for the coquito anyway i digress uh this one went to a winery so she's promoting that uh we had a so uh this is a new spot that opened up close to our neighborhood. So someone's promoting what they're doing there. This one just moved here. So she's introducing herself and she says she has an online beauty business, right? So everybody's, well, look, 64 comments, welcoming her, you know, talking about the business. Uh, this person does meals, she does Akai and treats and she delivers within our neighborhood. We had a Halloween parade to go around and drive around a community to see everybody's houses who decorated. Uh, Connie does hair. So, you know, every few days she'll post the before and after of the hair that she does. This person was looking for someone to do her daughter's hair. See, she asked in the group. This one does a photography stuff this one's asking about i don't know this must be some type of i don't know what it is a game i never even heard of that but look how many people responded 41 comments on just that post cookie decorating class someone did a class for that they work out together every weekend, so they post about that. Here's some challenge. 
Someone else did a class for Christmas wreath decorating. Another photographer. Someone did a class for flower arrangements. So y'all get the point I'm trying to make every time they go out walking or do, I think this is, um, uh, they do, a, oh, this was the total body cardio class. So people got together to do that. We have craft fairs. I mean, all types of stuff. Zumba, they do Zumba every Saturday. Anybody can do this for their neighborhood, for your community where you live anybody so if there's not a group already created for your neighborhood you be the one to create it delta miss delta um i um definitely agree on the dip various groups because you know and I, I remember in one of our um coffee hour sessions you were talking about you know find various things that you're interested in you know and join those groups and one of the groups that i joined was alopecia i have a severe ugh, a severe case of alopecia and i just was so happy i guess i was you know scrolling and i saw um said alopecia so I, I stopped and and kind of you know checked out the page and everything and i i eventually joined and then you you know you uh, people they'll respond to you you know leave comments or you know you can you comment to them and things like that so yes i do definitely agree on, on various interests even with me i do one of well one of my businesses i do i do and create jewelry and so with that you know uh, even with my instagram page on um, through um my Facebook page is just like when you, like you said, you, you set setting up that report and you're, you're commenting back and forth. So yes, those groups, you know, so you like, and it, 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 it develops a um, opportunity for you to, you know, like I said, set up, you know, um, to build a rapport with various people. Cause I've gotten several comments on one young lady. Uh, I commented with her every day. It's a, it's a, um, a positive she does she does a positive court she did and you know i i, I you know communicated with her i you know talked about how beautiful her course are. so we, we we're setting up a report back and forth so when you can establish you know like like i said checking out those various groups and seeing things that you like and of interest then like i said there's an opportunity for you to create you know a friend a business partner or whatever and just moving it forward you know, utilize any type of opportunity that you get uh uh, I mean, as far as when I'm out, sometimes if I can't necessarily speak to someone, I was at, at a um, hospital with um, with a friend and talked to a lady, you know, peeked her and everything. But I left uh, business cards there on on the table just to say, you know, somebody is, is, is you know going to have that opportunity to do. So any type of opportunity that I see, I try and jump in on it and utilize it at that particular moment. Nope, can't hear you. Absolutely, and when you're in those groups. Make sure you're friending those people so that they see all the yep. things that you're posting. That That's the main thing. It's good to be in the groups, but the key is to make uh, a friend request with them, to connect with them so that you can start dripping on them by them seeing your posts. Miss Debbie. Hey, Debbie. Debbie Jones. What are you doing? How are you leveraging Halloween to move your business forward? Okay, well, I'm going to be honest and say I had nothing planned, but after hearing everyone today, I'm doing something after work and getting planned quickly. Good, <laughs> good. I don't even have candy, but I'm going to go buy a bag of candy. And it's 50% off the day of. I know, and just do or go to the, the dollar cards, store and get it. On the candy. Yeah. I'll figure something out, but I'm going to hand out my cards tonight. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Go look, go to BJ's, Sam Club, Dollar Tree, Dollar Journal. Get the big bag of the dumb Dumbo pops or whatever, and tape them to your business cards and give them out. Yep. I mean, come on, y'all, do something. It's too easy not to. Right, and you got a grandson, so you really have no excuse. <laughs> he ain't into it anymore, but that don't matter. I can still be into Mate, it. So. Look, dress his little butt up. Do like <laughs> our our parents did us: a white sheet, cut some holes. You going as a ghost tonight? Grab there you the pillowcase. Go. Y'all know about the pillowcase. We had a pillowcase to 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 put our candy in. That thing got yeah. heavy. No handles. We wrapping it around until you couldn't wrap it around your It's true. Come on, y'all. Come on. 
Generation X. That's, that was Halloween. All right. But come on, if you got grandkids, you got no excuse. Even if you don't have kids, but you got grandkids, you got to be out there. This your 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 reason to go out with them. And guess what? As they're as you take them from house to house, even if it is a trunk or treat, there's a ton of people around. Get, be giving out something. You you ain't giving out a trick. You giving out a treat. Let me treat you to a, an opportunity to elevate your lifestyle. Have something snappy to say when you're handing it out, but please don't let tonight go to waste and you haven't hit your goals for 2023 yet. Seriously, we got to do better. Push yourself. Some of you got invited to a Halloween party and you said no. I need you to rethink that. And again, don't make it about Halloween. Everything about Halloween goes against my Christian values. It, I'm not, uh, so for me, it's, it's not about that. It is about growing my business. I have an opportunity to be in front of people that I otherwise probably would not come in contact with. Lanice, what are you doing for Halloween? How are you gonna leverage Halloween to grow your business? Devoris, Martina. Well, I am not, I don't, I'm not, I don't celebrate Halloween in any shape or fashion. And so um, I did plan because I do have um, clients leaving tomorrow um, on vacation. Um, I do have some things, you know, I'm working on, I'm working with them to make sure they're all set. And then I want to um, complete another Jamaica certification. So that was my plan for today. Um, but I mean, you guys have some good ideas as far as like getting in contact with people. My gate will be locked and I'll be working in a different, in a different fashion. But um, I do have uh, some things set up for this week for my business. It's just not tonight with the trick-or-treaters. Okay. Divorce. Um, as we're talking, I'm, I, I look, I'm doing the candy corn can you count how many is in the thing and give it a gift card? So I'm doing a, a guess post. Because okay. I don't have it. I don't have, yeah, I don't have that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm doing right now. You in Atlanta. There's this stuff to do. Uh, I don't have a car right now. Okay, there's still stuff to do. People can come to you. And all half, half of Planet Marketing lives in Atlanta. Link up with somebody. <laughs> and I'm going to the meeting tonight, so I'm definitely okay. Going that's to good. Meeting. Okay, all right. Well, you, I, I I can't say nothing with that. You're gonna be at the meeting. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Martina, how are you leveraging Halloween to grow your business? Erica, Kimon. how are you? You all know, leverage. Um, Halloween, not so much. I've never been a Halloweener. I am learning so much from coming on today, director, because we do absolutely have the 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 ability to leverage these things. So, you know, I'm definitely gonna rethink my next year, but I have been making calls because um we're starting up the Miami meetings again. Yeah. So I've been, you know, calling around to see who, you know, who I can get to the meetings. But the thing is, I'm about 30, 30 to 40 minutes away. I'm in Tamarack. Mm -hmm. So the people that I've been calling are like around the Fort Lauderdale area. They're like, yeah, I can't drive to Miami, you know. So then I do, you know, invite them to because we have a Tuesday night tonight. So I have, you know, given them the information for tonight. So now I'm going to have to think about like who I know in actual Miami. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, to get out. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, when you're on Facebook, you could do hashtag Miami. Start friending people who live in that area. Um, also, Kimon, you know, on the weekend, make it a weekend, you and your your new business partners and say, you know what, let's let's go. Let's go to Miami. 
Let's go spend a few hours in Miami today and, you know, network, go out, talk to people, go to the mall, you know, prospect people, you know, make some new friends. This is how you work your business. And because you're in Miami, guess what? There's so many pictures and videos that you can take that you can use to leverage um, to promote your travel agency business. There's so many people who want to go to Miami. That's like the hot spot, especially if you don't have a passport. So, Kimon, with you being, you know, 30 minutes away, oh my goodness, you can get so much content and, and position yourself to meet people um, by just literally going to Miami. You know, have breakfast, have lunch, hang out, go, go to the shopping stores. Go to the to the hotels that are on the beach, take pictures, um, promote the property. There's so much to do. And again, everyone, let me be clear. This is not about celebrating Halloween. I do not celebrate Halloween. It goes against all of my Christian values and beliefs. So it's not about that. I ain't dressing up, no costume, no nothing. You get in Tanisha. That's who I'm going to be tonight. Tanisha, the businesswoman handing out her business cards to the other people that are celebrating Halloween. I just think it's for people who don't really celebrate, don't even think about it. It's just another day. And I think just making a switch for them to think it's, a, it's still a business, day of business. Um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Divorce. And I get that because I mean, that's the way I used to be too. But when you know better, you do better. And every other business yeah. in the world is is leveraging Halloween with some type of special. I don't care if they selling shoes. They got a coupon code, scary 25 for 25 percent off. We got to operate like a business We because we are a business. That's all I'm saying. It's not about the holiday at all. It's about doing business. Uh, yes, I wanted to say one more thing too. Yes, businesses, Dunkin' Do uh, Baskin Robbins. Today is the 31st. Every month that has a 31st, they give uh, ice cream at 31% off of any scoops of ice cream. So I'm going to be telling my trick-or-treaters moms that too. After you get finished trick-or-treating, go to Bath. Don't forget to go to Baskin Robbins and get your ice cream cone for 31% off because it's the 31st. Absolutely. They, they, they do that for business. You know, that's the, and today is Halloween. They're probably going to be doing something more spectacular or what have you, if you come mm -hmm. in a costume or whatever. But I'm just saying, I, I'm with you too, um, director. And a lot of you on here do not, I don't celebrate Halloween. I don't. Even my kids were little, you know, they went to church on like they have harvest night, you know. Right. So now they're grown and my grandkids, they think I'm crazy. But um it's the business part of it that I look at it. I, it's the business. Because mm -hmm. then being in like I said, being in preschool, when we had the Halloween parties at church, I'm sorry, at school, at my job, I had to conform because it was my job. Mm -hmm. But personally, no, I don't. But we, I would, and, and I know a lot of people feel that way. And I, I did uh, kind of answer in the chat. I think Shamika was saying, you know, you're going to be making phone calls. Do you say hi, happy Halloween? I personally wouldn't because so many people don't do any. You don't want right. to offend anybody right off the bat if, if you, because you don't know who does or who don't and how they feel about it. But most people don't. But we're not looking at it as Halloween. I'm looking at getting some business partners tonight because I'm already named it and claimed it and I'm doing all this work and something's going to come of it. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And, and I want everyone to also start, um, you know, thinking about, Thanksgiving and Christmas, right? Traditionally in network marketing, these are the three months that the business slows down. So as CEOs of your business, you got to do something to combat that, to make it a productive and prosperous three months for you. So you can't just sit back and have a holidays where, you know, you just chilling because it's the holiday 
No, there's things that you have to do in your business to keep it up. That's why all these corporations, they're running specials and things like that. You think they all celebrate these holidays? No. There's a whole bunch of people who don't celebrate Christmas. But is that not an opportunity to expose your business, knowing that people travel during these three months like crazy? So you could be promoting your your um your business. And I want to remind everybody too, and we talked about this before, when you get people who ask you for a quote for your travel business, for a trip, promote that trip in your travel group. You did all you already did all the work. <laughs> Somebody might say, Oh, that's a nice trip you already put together. I like that itinerary. I, I'll book it. I literally just did a quote for a client. They had an idea of several different places. They're not sure it's an anniversary. They definitely paid my research fee. I was smart this time. And I told them I'd give, I said, pick two destinations and I'll give you a quote for each. So now I literally have two itineraries already laid out, price and everything that now I'm going to promote in my travel group. So whether they book it or not, I'm gonna put it out there because I never know, there might be somebody else who's interested in it. I already did the work. Why would I let that work go to waste? But do something, do something. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of the opportunity. And if for whatever reason, you are not taking advantage of the people that could be at your, you know, at your house to get candy or whatever, still use that time to work your business. Don't just be sitting, eating bonbons and watching Netflix and chilling. Do something for your business. At least make it a productive night for you so that it's you're not taking an L on the night. You can come out saying, I did something tonight to move my business forward. I, I love that, you know, Lenise says, you, you know, working on another trip reaching out to some clients. Shamika? I was going to say while you was talking, um, what I'm actually going to do is I got some trips that I'm promoting for, for next year. So mm -hmm. just kind of use a template that I already have in Canva and kind of make it Halloween-ish and just send out some business cards along with my um, trip flyer. Um, I did that a couple of weeks back and it, it worked. <laughs> Tremendously. So I'm still sending them my um plan and marketing card, but then also like, you know, hey, this this is also a trip that I'm promoting, you know, if it looks good to you or you know of anybody, you know, absolutely reach out to me. So I'm gonna do that as well. Maybe I'll make it something like a spec uh spec spectacular deal going on. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful travels LLC. So thank you for that. I, I'm gonna do that today. Absolutely. And a lot of the travel suppliers have that type of thing. And they got all the wording and stuff. They're running some little special or whatever. You, you've you already got the emails. They're all doing it. So take advantage of that and promote that. You know, really go hard with it. I just don't want to, you know, regardless of what your, your spiritual beliefs are, right? Um, I'm just saying we're not talking about your beliefs. We're talking about business, period, point blank. I ain't telling you to dress up like a witch or a demon and, you know, none of that. Nope. Not even telling you to acknowledge it as a holiday. You ain't got to say nothing about it. I'm just saying people are going to be coming up to your house and here's an opportunity for you to give out your card, period. However you do that, period. But we got we to gotta stay focused on doing business. These are This is how business people think. And if we want our business to pay us like a business, we have to treat it like a business. Every other retailer in the world is leveraging this day because they know people who normally wouldn't be out are going to be out. That's the other thing too. People who are normally hermits, always in their house, especially if they have kids, they're going to come out. You gonna finally see that neighbor that lives down, you know, two houses down from you. You ain't never seen them. They probably gonna be out. And I know in my neighborhood, a lot of the um, the neighbors they they get they post up in their driveway. 
they get their little chair, they got their drink, and they just sitting there with their, you know, bowl of candy or whatever. And it's like, it's an opportunity to, to just even walk around just to say hi to people. I wanted to say something. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Lanise, go ahead. Because, you know, today it was our first day of snow, so that shifted. Uh, no, not, not that word. <laughs> but I, word I wanted to mention that, I like. <laughs> that because I knew it was snowing this week, I had been sending a few emails out to, um, you know, some potential travel clients only because I'm very, I want to book honestly before like um i want to book something for january february because i'm very close to that 80 percent, and i want to make sure i'm gonna have probably like 500 dollars short on commission so i just need a couple more trips to um i need a couple more like you know trips books in the next couple of months so that i get that commission before like i wanted to hit it before march and so because i knew it was snowing this week like it was nice last week and i knew it was snowing this week i'm like let me start leveraging the fact that people are going to be angry yes. today. <laughs> And give them something to think about because we were just coming back too. So I'm like, give them something to think about, like where they need to go because to escape the snow. Absolutely. That is a perfect marketing plan. That is how you do it. Exactly. If you live in a climate that's cold, it's snowing, it's about to snow, that is what you do. You, you temp your travel clients with a tropical escape. That's how you do. And here's the kicker. A trip for January, February, that's off season. So it's going to be super budget friendly. Right, Lanise? Yeah, and there's a lot of specials to like, uh, there's a lot of specials for like three day getaways. So it doesn't have to be like a long trip either. They can get away. Exactly. A a trip to defrost. For those of y'all living in a cold climate, offer your clients a weekend getaway to defrost, right? Make it funny. I mean, it just, just y'all just think like a, a CEO. That's all I want y'all to do. Think like a business owner. Don't make it emotional. Stay out your feelings. This ain't about your feelings. This ain't about your spiritual beliefs. It's not about that. We we doing business. And so I need you to always be in business mode thinking, how can I leverage this to move my business forward? How can I do that? Every opportunity, anything that's going on in your family, in the world, at your job, just in general, how can I leverage this situation, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, to move my business forward? In other words, how can I be of service to this person that, is doing whatever how can i be of service i don't care somebody pass away you already know there's gonna be a funeral you already know people gonna have to travel isn't isn't that a great time to say hey i'm sure you're gonna have some people coming in for the funeral um you know here's my card i can be of service you know to to help with any travel arrangements that your family may have you know my deepest condolences Just saying. Some you turn into tragedy, but you're also offering a service. Cause you already know they're gonna have family coming in. That's one less thing they gotta deal with and, and think about as they're making funeral arrangements. Just just direct all your family to me. Here's my number. Just have anybody who needs to come in for the services, just have them reach out to me. I'll take care of it for you. Whole bunch of people about to get engaged third quarter, fourth quarter. Jump on it for a wedding. Matter of fact, in your travel groups, I highly recommend this. In your travel groups right now, start promoting destination weddings. I'm getting a ton of emails from suppliers about destination weddings and honeymoons. Just start doing some some postings about that because there are some people that are going to get engaged for Christmas or Thanksgiving while the whole family is around. Somebody's going to pop the question at Thanksgiving. 
New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve. It's just, it's just, it's going to happen. Any questions, comments, feedback? Did anybody gain, give me a takeaway. Give me some takeaways from today's topic, which was literally spur of the moment, but that's how we do on virtual coffee break. It's whatever I think of at the moment, <laughs> whatever the, whatever the energy is just, it just comes. I was like, I was going to do some other training on smart goals, but yeah, I switch it out. Let me go to Shamika and then Delta. Market your business on holidays the same way these stores and all these other places do. So don't be afraid to give calls, send emails, send texts uh, about your business to people. Absolutely. Miss Delta? I just want to say my, my takeaway is just utilizing any opportunity. I was sitting just sitting up here think, thinking. I have the, the getaway brochures. Mm-hmm off is a trip and I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm jumping all the way, even though I have my cruise in December um, before then I can market the, uh, just I, I'll configure some kind of way, be using that as it, here's a gift for you. Do you know of anybody that wants to leverage the income, you know, make additional income. If you can recommend me three people, you can have a, a, a Christmas gift for you. This, this, this two or three day getaway. I mean, just utilizing any type of opportunity to, like I said, leverage what you have, and, and move forward any opportunity i mean you have to do that and just to just to hear it you know come coming from you as far as saying to move for how to move forward and do that is awesome i mean you have to just like i said hit the ground running and, and any opportunity you have meeting people however you meet people any kind of way utilize that and, and, and leverage your business absolutely so let me clarify something we can't use the intelli travel um stuff to promote trying to get business partners, but here's what you can do. Did I hear you say Delta that you have a, a group cruise coming up in December? Correct. Okay. So what you want to do is have a group trip already set up in place for 2024. Okay. Okay. Before, way before the December thing, have, work on that now. Mm -hmm. And this way leading into the group cruise, you let everybody know the 2024 trip is already set. Anybody who puts a deposit down this month or this week or today or whatever will get a three day getaway. Gotcha. Or you could say anybody who pays in full before 2024 will get a three day getaway. And so same thing for you, Lanise, you need to get an extra 500, put together something and offer that three day getaway to anybody who books it before a certain date so that you can hit your goal. But it has to be, the incentive has to be around travel. It can't be used as an incentive to get business partners. But again, anybody that you're booking with you always want to peak them, right? But mm -hmm. you understand what I'm saying, Delta? How you can leverage those getaways to, yep. right? Yep, exactly. Thank you. That's good. Kimon? Yes. Uh, so my takeaway today is leverage. <laughs> leverage, leverage, leverage. And, you know, that's why I like coming onto these um, coffee breaks because I always learn so much and the thing is this is stuff that I would have been doing anyway for my employer Ooh. um working in corporate yeah it would have been stuff that I would have been doing anyway you know so now I just have to switch to the CEO brain right. <laughs> and do it for myself and you know sometimes we need a little reminder so yeah big takeaways for me today Excellent, excellent, excellent. Debbie, any takeaways for you? Yeah, basically, um, just work your business on a holiday, just like you would any other day. Um, think outside the box. That's what I need to do, mm -hmm. drastically. <laughs> and um, 
and yeah, just keep working. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, everyone. So a uh, question, did anybody on here get registered for Eagle Weekend before it sold out? Nobody? Wow. Are you saying it sold out already? It sold out in about 19 minutes. Jesus Christ almighty. About 19 minutes. Let me say this. Those of you that are on my team and in my group have no excuse. You have no excuse. You know why? Because number one, we were told, be ready. They're going to promote it, release it on Sunday. And immediately when they started the state of the planet, your coach, because she's smart, the first thing I did was go to the back office because I'm like, I know they're going to announce it during state of the planet. So literally when they started the state of the planet, I went to the back office, saw it was posted, and in all my team chats and the team group, I said, Eagle Weekend is open, get registered, it's gonna sell out. So everybody had a heads up, if you were on my team and in my group. I put it out there so that you would immediately go and get it. So far from our team, we got 12 people registered for Eagle Weekend. And they were all registered before Mr. Bradley announced it on the state of the planet. Because guess what happened once he announced it? The system crashed, just like um, during convention. Remember when they announced convention, everybody running out, trying to, couldn't get on? That's exactly what happened. People could not get on. So I'm just saying all of that to say, I need y'all to pay attention and be ready. The word of the day is be ready. Be ready, be ready with your money. Keep, keep 500, at least 500 set aside just for travel. So that when these events come up, you on it and pay attention to the messages that are being sent. Prepare. Failure to plan is a plan to fail. So just kind of keep that in mind because I know there's a lot of people that were disappointed that they did not. Now, here's let me say this. Continue to pay attention because you have to pay the deposit. So not only did you have to pay the 199 okay that that secured your spot that held your spot but you have to pay 50 percent of the of the stay and so anybody who paid the 199 but then they haven't paid the 50 percent deposit it's going to be canceled and now that spot is going to go up so i'm predicting that at some point maybe over the next few days few weeks whenever they send out the payment link i'm predicting at some point there's going to be a message that comes out from corporate saying hey we got a few more spots opened up for eagle weekend and it's going to come from the people who didn't pay the deposit for the room and so you may still have an opportunity the question is are you going to be paying attention to the message when it comes out and are you going to be financially ready to make the payment so I just want to put that out there so that y'all could be ready and prepared when it happens. I've already been told the people who don't pay the deposit, they're going to be canceled. So that means they're going to open it up for others. Okay, so y'all be ready. Y'all be great. And uh, I'll see you next week. Love y'all.